change it out, how does it sort of change your leadership on the team if it does at all? Uh, with PJ, I will say um, my leadership has to, you know, step up even more. You know, I gotta um, get different areas of the positions. You know, the D line, the linebackers, safeties. I gotta be um, be more of a leader to the D line. You know, he was a big voice there, but I'm sure you know, um, um, Tangelo and people like that will step up and, and become a you know a leader. But I also can help. Say it again? The quotes, there's a quote at the beginning of every team meeting and then James has started to post it to social media. Um, are there any quotes over the past couple of months that have stood out to you? Uh, I'll say just, you know, I don't know what um person was, but just take it one day at a time, you know, um, just be where your feet is. Um, just be present, I would say that. Obviously, PJ is a big man up front, you know, a big part of the identity of this defense. How do you keep that identity going when you lose somebody who's so much at the forefront of that? Oh, uh, you know, just having that next player, you know, step up mentality. You know, the um, next D lineman, you know, whoever that is, is going to have to, you know, step up and play a bigger role, you know, um, and fill that gap, you know, because PJ, you know, he's a great leader, great player. But at the same time, you know, we, it's next man up mentality. Jaquan, how did you handle the bye week? What did you do during the bye? And what did you learn about the team since the loss to Iowa? Um, during the bad week, I just rested like a lot and um, recovered, just trying to get you know my legs back up under me, you know, just trying to get healthy and things like that. Um, just you know doing you know just extra work, just extra you know stretching and you know cold tubs and things like that. And then you know what I learned from this team is you know um, you know we stayed together. You know we we didn't you know down each other or anything like that. You know we just kept positivity around. And you know we just you know we moved on from you know the hour loss. How hard can it be to take it one day at a time when there's so much going on in the conversation about Penn State and you guys are always in the conversation of the top ten? Like, do you guys find that difficult to stay locked in and, and just focused on one game? Honestly, uh, we really don't focus you know on the rankings and things like that. You know, we just try to take it one day at a time. And, you know, be where our feet is. You know, just you know just. Um, get better each and every day, you know, whether that's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you know, just try to get better, you know, each and every day that 1%, you know, so we just, you know, just focus on things like that and everything will take care of itself. You had a big decision to make in the off season about whether to come back or enter the draft. Now that you're six games in, what are your thoughts on the decision that you made, you know, way back when? You know, um, I was always great with my decision. You know, I knew what um, team, you know, we were going to have coming back and I knew what type of player I wanted to be coming back and, you know, obviously the coaching staff, you know, they supported me and things like that, you know, my family and things like that. Um, so, you know, once I, you know, came back, you know, I was all in and then, you know, other players, you know, we're all in and once we start working together, you know, we're a very dangerous team. So Where do you think you improved the most from last season? Uh, I think I improved just um, making plays on the ball and just, you know, seeing things fast, you know, just seeing plays, you know, just diagnosing plays and, you know, trusting my instincts more and just, you know, going, going and playing fast like, like myself. Jaquan, uh, I think it was last week we were talking to Tig, and he said that what it's like living with you is watching film all the time. How much do you think about football, and when you're out there, do you feel like you see things that you've seen on film, like you can physically see it? Uh, I'll probably say, you know, I'll probably, you know, I'm in love with the game of football. You know, I, if, it's, if I'm not doing school, I'm probably doing some, you know, watching YouTube videos of some old football games or some old school players or some just some highlights. But, um... I will also, you know, say that, um, you know, out there on the football field, you know, I do see a lot of things. You know, I, I see the plays before they happen, and then, you know, sometimes I feel like I'm in the office coordinator's head. You know, whatever, you know, favorite play that he has done in the past or that I've seen during film, you know, it always translates and goes back to trusting my instincts again. Who are your favorite safeties to watch? I'll say uh, Sean Taylor, Ed Reed, Earl Thomas, you know, safeties like that you know, old school safeties, you know, who like to hit and, you know, cover ground and things. You go up against him every day in practice. What does Sean Clifford bring to this offense that you think really makes it special when he's in there? Uh, leadership um, and that confidence, you know, just the way, you know, he, he leads the offense and, you know, and he, he also has confidence, you know, that he's the best quarterback in the country and I believe that. Juan, does it ever feel like you're halfway through your last season in this uniform? and? 
you ever take a moment to sit back and kind of appreciate it? I think uh, every Saturday, you know, I sit down there at the 50-yard line, and I just take it all in, you know, just like, wow. You know, um, just look at this environment, you know, whether it's home or away, just look, you know, look at yourself. You know, you're, you're sitting here, you know, in a Penn State uniform, you know, playing whoever. You know, I always, you know, take it all in, you know, before the game or even out here the, when I walk to the side, you know, after class, you know, I'm walking through here. I see, the, you know, the the um, grass cut and things like that, you know, just, just everywhere around here. You know, I'm just definitely humbled to be here. With a new uh, coach that Illinois has, what's that process like of trying to watch film of them while they're implementing those new systems? How much more difficult does it make it for you guys? Uh, the process is just, you know, just what is their favorite, you know, plays, what their bread and butter play, you know, what they like to run, you know. They have a new coach, but at the same time, you know, he's going to run the, he's going to run certain plays because that's what he likes, you know. Everybody has, like, a certain play that they want to keep running at a certain time. They might mix it up here and there, but at the same time, they're always going to go back to, you know, who they are. When you're watching film, do you feel like you can see that personality of the play caller when you're looking through some of the stuff they've done in the past, and then how does that inform what you do on the field? Uh, yeah, when I watch a film, I, I feel like I can see, you know, what they're doing and why they're doing it, and, you know, it translates, you know, to the field because, you know, when I'm out there and I see that certain formation or they try to mix it and, um, you know, try to sugarcoat it, but at the same time it's going to go back, you know, to the, the same play, you know. I do see things like that, so. Is there a play that stands out to you this year? I mean, I know you had talked about the Wisconsin one before where you, like, you felt you knew what was coming. Is there another example of that where you felt like your film study really had a beat on what they were trying to do? Uh, probably, I'll say, uh, Iowa, a lot of games actually, but um, I would say I would just, you know, their play action, their boots, and um, you know, their certain runs. Like I, I knew that, you know, if the fullback came back, that was gonna go opposite of me, and like they were check. Like if I came down. And like I showed a little bit, they would check opposite and run the other way or just check their offense. Um, Indiana, you know, there's there's certain formations, you know, just try to um, motion and like try to give us different looks, but it's the same play, so yeah. Have you picked up a tell on anybody? Like what's maybe the craziest tell that you found that you said to your teammates like, hey, like when they do this, this is what's gonna happen. Is there a moment like that? Uh, yeah, just, just like a certain formation, you know, just, you know, how somebody's lined up or, you know, a tail might be like the way the receiver comes out. You know, sometimes he comes out when he's about to get the ball. Like he'll start messing with his hands, or you know, when he's when it's about to be a run. You know, he gets a little lazy. He'll come out the huddle and start jogging, and not really look like he wants to, you know, do that play. So there's there's certain tails, and it could be from the quarterback also. You know, the quarterback looking around. That means, you know, it might be a pass, or you know, um, you know, running back. You know, he might be messing with his, you know. His legs trying to get his legs going, you know, it's about to be a run, just little things like that. You guys have been pretty good all year with pass breakups. Every cornerback and safety in America wants to break up a pass, but you guys have been good at it across the board. What do you think makes you good at it, and how do you get good at it? Um, here at practice, you know, our coaches, you know, just repping it, you know, every single day, you know, just trying to get better, you know, just trying to put us in different situations, uncomfortable situations out here in practice where it's hard and make the game easier. Um, he's been a star, you know, um, a force, you know, running our pass and, you know, and people sleep on him in the run game, but he's a very physical defensive end. And, you know, once you turn on the film, you know, you're going to see that he's a very balanced defensive end and he's a superstar for sure.